I have to survive 100 days and 7 days to die. The catch is, if I die at any point during my journey to the promised day, that being day 100, I have to delete my world and character and start over from day 1. Can I do it? Stick with me to the end of the video to find out. For those who are not familiar with 7 days, it's a zombie survival game where the point of the game is to just survive. And unlike the game's namesake, it's not to die within 7 days. So how do we get to 100 days? Well, we live for materials and better gear, kill the undead and any other special undead to gain XP and level up where we can then turn those levels into skills and pass the bonuses from mining better resources faster to building a gyrocopter to fly around the world. We have to manage our water and food so we don't starve to death or dehydrate and remember, if we die at any point, we have to restart from day one. Now, before we jump into the challenge, I just want to say this. The video took multiple months to film and create along with having a full-time job. Running this channel is only currently a hobby and it would mean the world to me if you guys leave a comment on this video and if it made your day better, like at all, then hit that like button. Thanks guys. Starting off in the world, the first thing I want to do is loot any of this stuff that's nearby. Thankfully, when we loot this bag, we find a piece of armor that will make our chances of surviving better and a can of miso that will help us make sure that we don't starve already. I then continue to loot any of the garbage nearby for any materials that will help us later in our journey. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick up these plant fibers to make the bedroll that we need. Now that we got the materials, we're going to go ahead and craft the bedroll. Shouldn't take too long. Go ahead and place that down to complete the quest. And now I'm going to collect these resources, including plant fibers, wood, and stone to make a axe for cutting down trees and breaking stone. Basically our all around tool for the early game. Now it wants me to get more plant fibers. So then we can make plant fiber clothing, which unfortunately does not give us much. Now we have to grab the materials to make a wooden club, which is going to be one of our first melee weapons to protect us from the undead. And then since I had extra plant fibers, I went ahead and made uh, a full set of clothing just because we have the resources to do so. I then made the wooden club, which I'm gonna make sure I equip. I'm going to keep on the scrap helmet because it is better than this plant fiber and then I'll put the rest of the clothes on. Get all the materials necessary to make some arrows and a bow, which I'll go ahead and do that now. Some bow and some arrows. Put that in my inventory. And then it also wants me to craft a basic block. That way it can teach us that we can build stuff using materials that we find. Then I'm going to grab the stuff necessary to make a campfire. Place it here. We're gonna use this as our standard base for now until we're ready to move on to the trader, which is all the way over here. I'm gonna go ahead and place all the stuff that I don't need currently into the box. I'm gonna put one point into Brawler, one point into Cardio, one point into Healing Factor, and one point into Iron Gut. Making my way to the first POI, we got the Weston Way Station, and I almost immediately end the challenge by stepping on a landmine and surviving with 3 HP. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did die here. Now, you can consider that a failure of the challenge in general, or you can just look past it because we did die on day one. We could restart the world from day one beginning again. However, since we died on day one, I'm just going to go ahead and continue the challenge. If you want to say that I failed, go right ahead. Um, I just don't think that it's necessary to restart the challenge on day one when we uh, died on day one. I hope that makes sense. And I just wanna go ahead and finish these zombies off to put some of the stuff we don't need in this chest for later when I then transfer all of the stuff that I wanna keep back to the base. Back at the base now, I'm just trying to get some dirt and a zombie broke into my defenses and continued to mess me up over and over again, getting a little bit concussed and getting a sprain, which will heal over time, nothing to worry about. I'm then going to grab some of the stuff I need before it gets a daytime on the start of day two, which are gonna make a journey to the trader. I killed this chicken for some food we're gonna need. I then snipe this deer out of here to get more food and materials like leather that we're eventually gonna need. The zombie tried to steal my food, so I'm gonna end his life for doing so. 
And then we make it to the next POI. It's a ranger station. It's only difficulty one, so I'm not expecting any big issues clearing it out. Get to the main loot and another zombie smacks me while I'm not paying attention. Go ahead and end his miserable existence for surprising me and hers. And then I loot the stuff, get an automatic weapons book that will help. Get some first aid bandages to heal me up right now. And I actually did find some better knuckle wraps. So I think I'm going to spec into um, unarmed damage to get the most out of those knuckle wraps. Then I got some blueberry pie, which will help. And then I continued to make my way to the trader. In the distance, I do see a zombie. I'm going to try to snipe it. I did get the snipe. It did end his life. I made it to Trader Joe's, which is a, not Trader Joe's, Trader Joel's, which is our first trader that we want to interact with. I'm going to loot what I can, and I did find an anvil, which will increase our forge crafting speed by 50%, which is a huge boost to get early on. I am then going to make the materials that I need to make a forge, because the forge is one of the most important things we're going to need to obtain to be able to make the majority of the craftable materials like iron and steel and well there's a bunch you'll see so i got the materials i'm going to go ahead and make the forge i'm then going to put a point into fortitude and then i continued to browse the trader of his selection of goods and selling off the stuff i didn't need before then taking a quest from him to clear an area out, which is actually one of the most important things we're going to be doing is clearing out POIs that we get. First off though, I am going to put together a base and well, the starting portion of the base and before we go ahead and head out to do the quest. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. On the start of day three, I went ahead and made a stone shovel, which will make it easier to obtain dirt. I then stopped by at this rock to grab some more stone before making it to the first POI of our journey. Well, not really of our journey, but of our first mission. We're gonna go ahead and clear it out of the zombies, one by one. Before finding out that there's a zombie trying to surprise me and I noticed that there is a little space above me which I think if I remember right is going to be a secret stash I'm going to go ahead and end the zombie before trying to build a little tower here out of wooden blocks that I can remove as soon as I'm done and let's see and yep we got a secret stash I got some nice stuff got a cho uh, shotgun choke mod and hunter's journal before I then clear out the rest of the POI of zombies and the reason why uh, I didn't accept the question, you might see that, is when you go through a POI, you want to loot all of it 
uh, kill the zombies, anything in it, because when you accept the quest marker, it resets the POI of all zombies and of uh, all the loot that you can grab. So it's worth it if it's not too much of a journey to loot the inside, grab the main stash and anything else you can get, and then reset the POI for you then to recollect a bunch more loot again. So I made it to main loot, got some goodies, got a pipe baton that might be fun to use for a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that club. I don't really need that if I got this um, little pipe. Got some medical journals, got some vitamins, that's good. Got a plaster cache just in case, and I'm gonna go ahead and activate the quest marker. And as you can see, when I go back through it in the sped up version, all the zombies came back, all the loot came back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly clear all this stuff out, clear all the zombies out and grab all the loot again. And then I got to level up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a point. Let's see, let's put it into another point into brawler, I think, cause I wanna go uh, knuckle wraps. And then I turned in the quest and he's got a couple things. I grabbed Molotovs before grabbing another quest to complete Later, I went ahead and marked our base on the map so I don't lose it. And then I spent the rest of day three working on fixing up the base some more. Um, my main goal with this base is to make a corridor for all the zombies to filter in so that they can't get to me unless they get through this big corridor. On the start of day four, I then proceed to try to snipe this deer with my bow, and I did get it. That'll provide us with some more resources that we could use, including food and leather and animal fat before killing this zombie for trying to steal my deer. I don't know why they want to dare to do that. I then make it to the next POI that we're gonna clear out. So same thing, I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna clear all the zombies out. I'm gonna uh, loot what I can, get materials that I can, and then uh, I actually stepped on some barbed wire there. That's not gonna feel good. Let's go ahead and clear out the zombies. This pipe baton is actually pretty fun to use. And then I put a point into healing factor that before opening up this box to get some goodies. I'm now encumbered, that's all right. I can now make a pipe baton quality two and then another pipe baton, I'm just gonna scrap that. I don't really need it. I'm gonna go ahead and take these bandages. I'm now going to reset the POI to go through, grab the loot again. Got some scrap leg armor, that's gonna be better. Some food, I'm gonna just eat that now. And then a book that allows me to do 10% more damage with pistols. Then grab some more of these books. I can now make a wrench, which will be nice. That'll allow us to take apart some of the electronics that otherwise wouldn't be able to be dismantled without said wrench. And then I made my way to a airdrop location that's actually marked now i am playing this world on default settings so there will be occasional airdrops that will have goodies either food medical weapons i think there's tools and i think there's books but i'm gonna go ahead and check out this one to see what it is i'm gonna guess um probably guess food Let's see, it turned out to be, well, uh, got a hammer. That'll be nice for building stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and drop my stone ax. I got a better one. All right, it's a crafting skill magazine one. So I'm gonna grab the hammer, grab this other stuff, and then, which I'm then gonna open up. I found tactical warfare, warfare. Pipe machine gun quality level two I can now make. Got some stuff, some explosives. I can now make a pipe bomb if I wish. And now I made it back to the trader. I'm gonna go ahead and look. Uh, I think I'm gonna grab the wood splitter mod for more damage against wood. I'm then going to accept another quest, try to get one that's closer for retrieving the supplies. And then I'm going to go home for a little bit to end off day four to continue working on the base. I wanna make sure that they can't stack on top of each other and somehow climb over the corridor. I wanna make sure these are upgraded. 
And then on the start of day five, I wanted to make some goldenrod tea. It will help hydrate me better than just normal water. I'm going to combine uh, some purified water that I made and some goldenrod tea leaves to make goldenrod tea. I know that sounds kind of redundant, but it is better than water. And that will get rid of my thirst, so I won't lose some stamina. It's kind of what our character looks like right now. Not much to look at, but eventually he'll turn into a beast. I'm then going to smelt some clay and some stone into the furnace to use later. Got another kill on a deer with my bow. I'm gonna go ahead and repair it. And now we got a fat zombie. This is one of our special infected. Basically just a tank of a zombie. He hits hard. Um, as you can see, he just hit me for a shit ton of damage. Grab my stuff. Grab the deer I killed. That's a big POI. We're gonna have to take that eventually. Before making it to Hogfoot Village, where I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Clear out the zombies out of the area for retrieving the supplies. And this one dropped a goodie bag. Military armor parts, some bandages, and some ammo. A little bit of food for disturbing this guy in the porta potty who is going to the bathroom. I'm just going to end his life. And then I continued to get messed up by a biker zombie. Uh, hits hard, um, hits fast, and he's raging. So he's just going to annihilate me. He just keeps hitting me. I ran out of stamina. Rookie mistake. And my god, he messed me up. It was not worth it to take him on like that. I can't even use this plaster cast because it's a sprain. I'm going to use this first aid bandage though to get some health back. All right, open the box. I got some vehicle adventure books. that will help with crafting vehicle stuff. Got some more food. Got another pistol peat book. That'll be good when I get pistols. Other than that, ooh, we got some recog, range damage, and some honey. That'll be good for infections. I then head out to start the marker and just like before I'm gonna go ahead and clear it out and reload it and try to not get messed up by the biker again let's see how this goes I can now make a uh, bicycle and wheels that'll help us get around faster so that's nice and then make it back to the base, empty out the stuff I don't need into the chest before making my way back to the trader to turn in my quest. And let's see, I think for this reward I'm going to take... I'm going to take the coal. And then I'm going to go ahead and accept another quest. Very nice. And then I need to buy this water filter so that we can make our own filtered water without having to put it into a pot and boiling it. Then on the start of day six, I wanted to grab some of the materials we needed to make the dew collector. This will be what we use to make our own water. And then I'm going to go ahead and work on the base some more, give it some support beams so that zombies don't break it for placing my dew collector down. And you will see in the later part of the video that putting the dew collector here was a mistake. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to see why right now, but it will happen later. Then I'm at the next POI. Same thing. I'm going to go through, clear out the zombies. Before making it to the main loot. Going to go ahead and grab some, ooh, some food. Got some recipe crafting skills. I can now make grilled meat and red tea. That's nice. Open up the box. Let's see. You got bow hunters. I can now make a primitive quality bow. Level two. Got our scrap helmet. Uh, I think I'm just going to scrap that. Got a pistol pee book. I'm getting a lot of those. I think the game's telling me to do pistols. And now I'm going to go ahead and accept the mission. And then you know how that went on the start of day seven killing a zombie. Now you might see that the day seven is bigger. The reason why is because now the one thing that the game likes to do is every seven days by default, uh, unless changed, the game will do a horde night or a, basically a blood moon. I think it's what they refer it to where the zombies will know exactly where you are. They will do their best to hunt you down. I'm going to go ahead and grab some duct tape. And now we're going to spend basically the rest of day seven preparing for the horde to eventually show up 
um, run one wrong move and we will have to restart this whole world and character from day one so I really don't want to do that so I'm gonna make sure I'm hydrated make sure that I got enough food and water to keep me safe through the night so I don't have to worry about that I'll get rid of my thirst and then to help out I think I'm gonna make a pipe machine gun so that I can do some more damage from range faster than just shooting at them with a bow I'm gonna make a better quality bow now that I can if you guys are playing seven days let me know uh, did you end up surviving your first day seven horde uh, with playing the game I know I did not survive my first day seven horde I was horribly unprepared and then before the horde comes I do want to take some cobblestone and upgrade some of the parts where the zombies are most likely going to get um, some damage on my stuff I'm gonna collect some more stone to make some more later then I think I'm gonna go ahead and dig out this treasure for the quest before day seven horde. I'm gonna use my stone shovel to try to find it. The zombies are gonna spawn in. Eventually I'll find it. Some more zombies, almost there. It's getting smaller and there it is. Okay, got it. Zombies are gonna spawn. Damage to the trader to turn in the quest before the horde comes. I think I'm gonna grab some Molotov cocktails. We'll help with the horde. I then going to accept one more quest and then I'm going to make my way home. The horde is going to be coming at 2200, so I want to try to get some last upgrades in before they show up. And now they're here. I'm going to throw some Molotovs to get some easy kills. It will damage my blocks, but not that bad. It will not spread fire. The zombies are almost making their way up. I'm going to throw some more Molotovs. We got a bag down there that's going to help uh, eventually whenever we're done killing them. I'm gonna throw some Molotovs over here, I, and I ended up lighting myself on fire. Uh, I don't know. I don't have any water on me. I'm gonna hope that it doesn't kill me. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Uh, to try drink some honey. Is honey gonna help? Uh, well, no, it's not really helping. Oh my god, I might die. Uh, hurry up, use a bandage. Okay, well I didn't die. I'm close to death, but I used the bandage, so I'm all right now. I'm gonna try to carefully throw a Molotov without setting myself on fire. Okay. I really can't afford to do that. I'm gonna pick them off with this bow from where they can't reach me. You can see they're breaking my blocks trying to get to me, but I'm gonna go ahead and use that to my advantage to get some easy headshots with this bow. And I think that was the rest of them. Oh, no, we got some more coming. I'm gonna to try to make sure I get away from them and get some easy kills, and that's it, I think. I got this one straggler. There we go. And I think that was the day seven horde, not bad. And then on the morning of day eight, I'm going to go ahead and put down another chest to store some extra stuff because that one chest I have down there is getting really full. Eventually, I'll make a better storage system, kind of sort things out by types and stuff like that and different materials. But for now, I'm going to invest a point into, let's see, probably into fortitude that will help out. I then going to make my way to our next mission for the trader. And let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I got the better arrows equipped. I'm gonna try to snipe him and it got him. Then I'm going to go ahead and try using the wrench to take apart some cars and get some materials and it works out quite nicely. I got another skill point out of doing that. Let's see, can't do brawler yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in cardio and then I'm gonna dismantle another van at the POI. Uh, for the trader. Let's see. Can I can I open this? Yeah, I opened it. Let's see Probably a zombie in here. Yep. I see one. I'm gonna try to kill him while he's sleeping All right, same thing. I know it's it's gonna probably get repetitive, but Safe to assume what I'm going to be doing is going through the POI first Clearing it out getting all the loot getting the main loot and I can now make some more stuff I am now getting messed up by the zombies that are trying to push through the door Let's just try to filter them out don't want them on me too heavily. If I get concussed, run out of stamina, um, we will surely die. Slowly whittling them down. I got one dead. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Punch him. He's not dead yet. Close this. Try to buy me some time to get my stamina back. All right. Dead. What about this one? And dead. Okay, good. Got some schematic for a light bulb. We got some more tactical warfare, medical journal. I can now make 
fast bites. All right, I found the main loot. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Ooh, bunker buster mod. More damage to stone. I'll take that. I'll go ahead and put that. Uh, let's see. Uh, nah, I'm not going to put it on my axe. I'll save that for later. Some more food. I'm just going to eat that. Ooh, padded gloves. Eh. Oh, I got some painkillers splint. I don't really want the painkillers. I'm just going to drop that stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and set the quest marker. Grab the supplies. And then uh, I got hit through the door again. Oh, oh my God, a biker. Okay, well, you weren't here last time. So you being here really. Oh, man. He sprained my leg. Okay, well, oh my God. Just can you. Oh my god, I'm, oh no, it's happening again. I might die. I might die. I might die. Oh no, I'm exhausted. I'm out of stamina. Oh, great, I'm infected. Oh god. Great, amazing. Good start. Alright, well. Great. Nah, no, I gotta try it. Oh man. If a zombie sneaks up on me, I think, oh god, they're coming through the door. Oh, come on, stamina. Oh god, they're not running, so that's okay. Okay, got one. Just be patient, be patient. We got the other one. All right, just the biker. Oh, thank God he died, okay. We got the medical journal, that'll help. Getting some first aid bandages, that really sucked. Oh, weighted head mod, that'll help. Okay, I'll take some of that. Uh, yeah, I'll take that too, I don't think I wanna use it yet. Uh, some schematics, nice, okay. Another schematic for retracting stock. Rifle crafting skill. Sure, I'll take that. Alright, after looting that, I'm going to go ahead and snipe this zombie. Grab my arrow back. See if I can snipe this one all the way over here. Uh, no, nope. uh, try it again. Okay, I hit him. He didn't die, though. Let's see if finish him off. I missed. And now I don't have any ammo. Amazing, I'll use them. I then return to the trader, and I grabbed the Grave Digger mod so I can do... More damage against dirt before accepting another quest to retrieve a supply chest. Then got home and drank some water, and I do have an infection. I'll have to cure that when I get a chance, but right now I'm going to fix my dehydration. And then I'm going to store some of the stuff we don't need into my storage chest before heading out at night dangerously. And I found a dropped loot bag. That's weird. Coffee is nice. I'll eat the can of salmon now. Some ammo and other stuff. Then I got some wood together to cook me some bacon and eggs because they're much better to replenish your hunger than anything else that I got right now. Before going ahead and I think I'm going to end up expanding the base a little bit because I think I need more room. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Heading out on day nine, I think it's time to head towards the quest to retrieve the buried supplies make my way there now i'm gonna go ahead and harvest some of this to try to get some honey you can only get the honey out of the stumps that'll cure some early onset infection if i can i got a skill point i'm gonna go ahead and put it into let's see um uh lightning hands for faster punching then I'm going to go ahead and activate the Buried Supplies quest and start mining on down, well, more so digging, to try to find that supply crate. There it is. Some food is nice, some water, and some farming magazines. Before hurry up and heading out, because zombies will start spawning, Let's see. Oh, I managed to get some honey out of that stump, so that'll cure a little bit of my infection. It won't cure all of it, but it'll hold it off for now until I can get my hands on some more stuff to fix it. I then turn in the quest to grab. Let's see. Let's go ahead and grab. I guess I'll go with the gunpowder. Very awesome. We leveled up our trader past tier one. He's going to offer us a big gift. These are all really good. I think I'm going to go ahead and take the bicycle for faster transportation. And now I'm going to go ahead and take the special job to open up another trade route. We're going to find another trader and put down the bike. Very nice. This will help. It's got some storage. Yeah, I like that. I'm fatigued right now. That will go away soon. I don't have to worry about that right now. But we will make our way towards the other trader so that we have another option 
for selling and purchasing shit. So make my way there now. All right. And it looks like this is Trader Gen, I think. It looks right. Uh, let's see. I found some. Ooh, I got Knuckle Wraps Quality 3 now. That's nice. That will be helpful. Granted, I already have them, but it's on the... Ooh, two more books. Very nice. Now I got Knuckle Wraps Quality 4, so I can make better ones now. So let's go ahead and do that real quick while we're looking through this trader's place can now make a pipe machine gun quality three man i'm getting a lot of gear level ups here and i can't make one right now but that's all right and it did run out yep this is trader jen i can't reach anything behind her so i'll just go ahead and turn in the quest that way we unlock tier two uh quest at the other trader She's definitely got to have some stuff that will fix me. There's some vitamins will get rid of my fatigue. Fortunately, it doesn't look like she had anything uh, antibiotics related to get rid of my infection. Before I made it back to the trader, grabbed another quest. I've got a job. You the man. Ah, that house brings me back. If you know, you know. If you don't, I did a live stream, multiple live streams around surviving in that house and, uh, tragically ended on day 47 i think if i remember correctly so let's hope that isn't a bad omen for this run huh oh i got some more honey and i don't think that will fix my infection it'll get really close will it i think it might fix it yep it'll fix it five percent we managed to get it right in time making it back home i check the water and it's got full i'm gonna go ahead and empty out my inventory into this chest then I'm going to expand the base just a little bit more. I think we need a spot to set up all of our storage. Morning of day 10, I get to use more of my bicycle to travel to the next location. That is um, our quest. It's more buried supplies, so when we get over there, we'll just have to start digging. And I stopped to loot a little bit before making it to our location. Empty out my inventory, accept the quest, and continue digging for the buried supplies so we can finish this quest. My god, that took a lot of time, but managed to get some more food and water and another farming book and then the actual stuff needed to complete the quest. So I'll grab that and hurry up and get out before the zombies start to spawn. Uh, there's my bike. I made it back to the trader. And we're going to go ahead and turn in the quest to see what kind of rewards he gives. He gives us an antibiotic. That would have been nice earlier. But I'm going to go ahead and make... Let's see. Let's grab... Yeah, we'll go ahead and go with the antibiotics just in case it happens again. Before picking up another quest, I think this one, let's, we're going to do the fetch and clear. And then I made it back to that base. And you know the deal. I'm going to go ahead and clear it out. We got our skill point. Very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and put that into... Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I decided to put it into. It looks like I put it into tool nipper. No, not that one either. Put it into okay put it into lock picking very nice before clearing out the rest of the zombies before we get done here and start looting and then we'll activate the quest marker you know how it goes by now if you don't what are you doing it's it's pretty simple you're gonna go in clear it out and then you're gonna leave and activate the quest marker the zombies are gonna come back and i missed that jump so now i gotta deal with the zombies again and they're all coming down i'm just gonna try to run past them I don't want to really deal with them right now. All right, let's try this again. And oh, you motherfucker! I'm just going to kill the zombies. And I'm getting ass raped. I'm going to go ahead and move now. Let's get those headshots. Wow, a couple loot bags. Holy moly. Another loot bag. Holy shit. Must be my lucky day. Okay, just finish this one off with my knuckles. All right, let's go ahead and loot all these bags before I try to make another attempt at that um, that weapon crate, I think it is. Let's 
All right, well, oh shit, hello. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump back across because if I remember right, these guys aren't very good at jumping over. Sh yep, there goes one, and there goes the other one. Very nice. Huh. Well, don't need to worry about them now. So I'll go ahead and collect the main loot. Then I activated the quest marker and we're gonna go back through it again, killing all these zombies and it's super dark in here now. And I'm just not even gonna bother. All right, vitamins, serrated blade mods, pretty nice, we'll take that. Scrap gloves. Tempered blade mods, nice. So I went ahead and put that on my shovel and let's see i guess i'll take all this stuff i'm gonna go ahead and read that it'll help out i'm gonna loot the rest of these boxes wasteland treasures is awesome uh, another electro skill uh, hammer skill and before turning in the quest ooh, a claw hammer uh, we'll go ahead and get let's go ahead and grab the leather leg armor it should be better than what i got before moving on to another tier two, excuse me, quest. This time to fetch and clear. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the stuff off in these boxes before expanding the base a little bit more so we can get some room to put more storage. What the weather, we're together. Go ahead and put a tool in a minor 49er real quick from getting XP for making this thing. Oh, sh shit. Well, ah, uh, well. I have to rebuild the base now, so I guess I'll go ahead and clean this up and redo it. Man. On the start of day 11, I decided it's time to get some more wood, uh, mostly to fix up the base. I also got some storage boxes will help hold even more loot. We're gonna go ahead and sort that real quick before killing that zombie. Go ahead and keep sorting. Let's see, more stuff. All right, this'll take a bit. Go ahead and make some iron arrowheads for better arrows. Let's go ahead and make those now. Then I'm going to hop on my bike and head towards the airdrop to see what kind of uh, loot it'll give us. Looks like it's a supply crate. We got a forge head book. Some more antibiotics that would have been nice earlier. Claw hammer and uh, crafting skill magazines. Amazing. Go ahead and use those. Can now grow yucca. And I can now make a bone knife quality three. I made it to the Harrison residence, which is our next POI. Let's go ahead and grab this wood and then let's see Tyrell's digest and making better stone quality tools more books kill more zombies I can now make knuckle wraps quality five let's go <clears throat> gonna go ahead and make those now then made it to the main loot more wasteland treasures some more books some uh, headlights that'll be nice when we make our vehicles then i'm gonna go ahead and make my way back through reloading everything Very nice, now that's all done. I can go ahead and jump on my bike, make my way back home. 
How's the dew collector? Almost done. I'm going to go ahead and collect that water now before putting all the stuff I don't need into the chest. Did not mean to take all that all at once, but we're going to go ahead and roll with it and put everything away. Then on the morning of day 12, I try to snipe this zombie from long range. There it goes. Before getting in my bike and making my way over here to grab some stone that we might need later. Let's see, turning in the quest, I'm going to go ahead and take, what did I take? I took the, uh, maybe the wood splitter mod? Uh, I'll take the, the skill bundle. Let's go ahead and sell all the shit I don't need to the trader. Before going back home, I'm now going to make iron knuckles which is going to be our second tier of unarmed weapons. Making it to the next quest location, I'm, you know the deal, I'm going to go ahead and loot the inside before restarting the quest marker to get all my stuff back. So let's go ahead and take apart the truck. Let's try these out. Oh, good start. Very nice. Good start for the Iron Knuckles. Some books. More zombies. Gonna go ahead and take them out with the Knuckles. These things are awesome. Got two skill points I can spend. I'll put one into Fortitude. And then that will lock more of those skills. I'll put a point into Brawler. Try to not get burned. Main loot. Oh, uh, it's a biker zombie. Oh. No. Kill him. Oh my god, why is... Uh, I, f I hate biker zombies. I hate them. Go ahead and collect the main loot now. Leather poncho. Ooh, some nice medical supplies. I'll go ahead and use the first aid kit now to recover from that damage with the biker. Go ahead and repair those padded gloves. Night Stalker book. They are much better now. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. Grab the rest. And then we'll go ahead and open these up. Nothing really special in here. Yeah, nothing really special in here either. Let's go ahead and reset the quest marker and you know what's going to happen. Great, I lit myself on fire again. Well, let's see. Well, yeah, okay, what already went out. I was going to drink water, but... All right, let's see if this will go... Wow, that went much better. He died in one hit, I'll take it. Tough guy sunglasses, I'll take those too. I'll take the arrows. The arrows, the arrows. Ooh, those are nice. Another book... Some other miscellaneous stuff. I'll go ahead and eat that food now. Wow, that was pretty terrible. And that one was pretty terrible too. Before getting home, I'm going to go ahead and deposit all of our loot. We're building up a pretty nice stash. And we'll go ahead and get the stuff together to make a workbench before spending some time upgrading the foundation here. There we go, we got enough stuff for a workbench. We're gonna go ahead and queue that up. And that will make our crafting even better. Even better? Even better. All right, on the start of day 13, I'm gonna get back on my bike and make my way to the trader. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab some iron real quick. Making it to the trader, I turned in my quest and got some more crafting skills before accepting another tier two quest, this time Let's go with uh, Infestation. Go ahead and open that and read these books. Bow Hunter is not really helpful for us right now. Tactical Warfare is good, and now we can make a Primitive Bow Quality 3. 
Workbench is done. I can now make pipe machine gun. And we can make an AK. We get our first AK we can make. Hell yeah. Just just ignore that. You didn't you didn't see that. Making it to the POI. We're gonna go ahead and clear out some of the zombies before going inside to, you know, loot around before we have to reactivate the quest marker. Bitch. Ooh, we got another skill point. Heck yeah. Let's go ahead and put it into Machine Gunner. More Tactical Warfare. Let's go ahead and activate the quest marker now and redo the process. Lumberjack hit me, of course. Should be easy to clear out the rest of these guys. Not posing much of a challenge, and Bert survived a punch. Well, that zombie didn't. I hear another airdrop going by. Some food and a magazine. I'll go ahead and eat that now. One more zombie, maybe? No, there's still more. There they are. They're hiding in the roof. Rooftops. Well, they're hiding in the ceiling, I guess. Whatever. You know what I mean. Get to try out our AK now. Ooh, a loot bag. Ah, I love this AK, it's so nice. Alright, it's clear. Let's go ahead and pick up this loot bag and grab the rest of the stuff. Wow, she had a lot, holy shit. That's awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and stack up here to get the loot. Eh, not that great. No, don't put the workbench down. Eh, not great. Forge head books, nice. Infestated crate. Infestated, infested, well, infested cash, whatever. Alright, making it back to the trader now. Let's go ahead and turn in the quest. Uh, these, I don't really care for any of these award, awards, honestly. Uh, I, th I guess we'll go with the steel. Those will be nice. For accepting another quest. You're going to get used to that. I would accept quests all the time. You're going to be doing them a lot. If you couldn't tell already. Alright. Basically almost the same kind of POI as the last one. So same thing. We're going to go through. Loot everything. Eat these peas. Kill all the zombies. Yeah. You, you know how it goes. Pipe pistol. Knuckle wraps. Great. I'm encumbered now. Let's go ahead and grab the loot. Now make a wrench quality too, that's nice. Already read that. We're gonna go ahead and start the quest marker. Ooh, military zombie. These guys take a lot of abuse. There we go. And then all the zombies are gonna come down from the ceiling in. We got a lumberjack and a military zombie. Whoa. Oh, we got some crazies. I'm going to try to make my way out. Oh, damn. They caught me already. Oh, okay. He just faced through the door. Gave me an abrasion. Amazing. Let's go ahead and just heal that abrasion real quick. Use the door to our advantage to get these easy kills. Uh, not bad. Weapon bag. Eh, pretty shitty wooden crate. Oh, well, I'll take all this stuff. Oh, the bar brawling is actually really nice. I'll go ahead and use that. Turning into a beast already. Tools digest. You can now make stone tools. Quality three. And let's see. Ooh, not that bad in the infested crate. I'll go ahead and take all that ammo and stuff. Nice. Alright, we got a zombie trying to block our way in. That didn't last long. Turning it into the trader. Semi-mod. That's not bad. 
Oh god, gassy. Scope two times mod? That sounds nice, I'll take that. Yep, we're gonna have to grab a quest before... It's about to be night, should I grab the restore power? No, I don't think we're ready for it. Nice, do I have a skill point to spend, but I want to get out of here before he closes. Go ahead and dump all the loot off into the chest. Oh, I keep calling them chests, so they're more like crates. Alright, let's try to find a place to put this workbench. I think I like right here. Yeah, let's just put it right here. Let's go ahead and make some more cobblestone rocks to work on the base with. And then these should be ready to go and get to try out the two times mod. And put that on the AK. Ooh, I like how this scope looks on the AK. I think it's a keeper. Then I spent some time working on the base again. Gotta get more materials. Let's go ahead and make some more cobblestone rocks. And then put some foundations up, get more wood, plant the trees. Let's put some spike traps around the base and I mean so far the base is shaping up to look pretty nice. Ooh, hello. It's a bunch of zombie bearers and wolves. I'm gonna just see if I can burn them with the molotovs while I'm not this far away. I think I got them? Yeah, I got them. Try to finish off these dogs. Oh, we got one bite. Thankfully, it didn't infect me. Try to kill this bear. Alright, it knows where I am now. Okay, get out the AK. Uh, okay, now the AK. Oh! <laughs> Go ahead and get that stuff from it. Let's add a little platform for the base. And now we got the Blood Moon. I'm gonna go ahead and let this play out. Wish me luck, guys. Alright, and that was the second Blood Moon. That went really well. Managed to kill all the zombies before the end of it, so... I'll say I did pretty well. Got a bunch of loot bags, so let's go ahead and spend some time grabbing all this stuff. And then we'll spend all the time putting it away. Ooh, a treasure map. Well, if we ever go that way, we'll grab it. Alright, after surviving that blood moon, let's go ahead and fix up all the stuff that was damaged before putting my bike down, and I think we're going to head to the next quest. Alright, we're here. Same thing, we're going to loot everything inside before restarting the quest marker to get all the loot back.
Oh shit, I fell right on top of the military zombie. Okay, good. No, Lumberjack, do not trap me in here. Ooh, another skill. Two skill points. I'll put it into Healing Factor and Iron Gut. Uh, one more in the light armor. Snake. Ooh, blueberry pie. Oh my god, what is that thing? Well, it doesn't look like it explodes. Okay. Ooh, honey. First aid kit. Steroids. Nice. Bunch of different car parts. Now make another claw hammer. Nice. Can make cloth and scraps. Great heist, volume two. Nice. Tempered blade mod. Yeah, this is stuff is boring. For putting what I can into the bike and accepting the quest. And, you know, going through, reloading. Ooh, a pistol in the toilet. Classic. Oh. I don't even know what's hitting them. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ooh, a stun baton. More other stuff. Steroids. Bullets. Some more books. A safe. I'll eat that can of chili now. Uh, that's a pretty good loot bag. I'll go ahead and skin this mountain lion. Or make it back to the trader. Turn in the quest. I'll go ahead and take the crafting skill box and grab another quest. I think we'll do infected area. Well, infested area. Kill the zombie near my base. For putting all this loot away. We're building up quite a collection of loot. And let's see, let's go ahead and read these. Can now make iron uh, iron knuckles quality two. Excuse me, I can't talk. And we can make vegetable stew and meat stew. Nice. And we can now make a quality two AK. Oh, that's that. We're just getting up there. Let's go ahead and make our better iron knuckles. Before working a little bit more on the base. And then on start of day 16, go ahead and take stuff into the box. Make sure I empty the vehicle storage so I don't accidentally forget. And we got a little bit of a horde of zombies. We're going to take care of them. These iron knuckles are doing wonders. Ooh, drop blue bag. Oh, we got a cop zombie. We better make sure we kill him quickly, because if we don't, he will he will explode and do a shit ton. Let's go ahead and loot these bags that were dropped.
Not bad. Go ahead and jump on the bike and head out. Made it to the nobly, nob, nobly cabin. Now make a pipe baton quality. Three, I think that's it. Made it to the main loot, and there's a Mama June right here. I'm gonna go ahead and, well, gonna end her real quick so I can get to the main loot. Uh, not bad. Some food. Eh. Yeah, I already read that. Not the greatest, but I'll take it. And we're gonna go ahead and reset the quest, and you know what we do. Go through and reloot. Alright, let's see what we get. Uh, tech junkie book, tech planner book, electrical parts. Uh, again, nothing really crazy. I mean, that's better. Better, better padded chest armor. And some other useless stuff. And, ooh, a time scope. That's not bad. Not sure if I'm going to be using it, but I'll try it if I can. I'm pretty full on shit. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. We'll put that here. All right, let's drop off the parts that we can into the storage. And let's go ahead and head out. All right, made it back to the trader. What do you give me now? Nine mil ammo, another schematic, some more steel. Let's just take the steel. And we made it to tier three. Hell yeah. Uh, I'll take the Dukes. And we're going to go ahead and open up another trade route so we can get access to tier three quests with this trader. Now I can make lock picks. Awesome. Ooh. This is a little airdrop right next to my base. Let's go ahead and take what I can out of here and check out this airdrop. That's convenient. Supply crate. Ooh, a view vehicle fuel saver mod schematic. That will help, especially when we get into the better vehicles. More skill books. Can't really take that right now. We'll just open it. Go ahead and put away the rest of this stuff. Let's go ahead and hop on my bike and make it to the next trader. Oh, it's cold here. Trader Hugh, huh? Pretty sure he specializes in firearms and ammo and stuff like that, if I remember right. Yeah. Basically. Alright, let's go ahead and head home. Well, that took a while. It's done nighttime now. Let's go ahead and put that up. And drink some water. Let's eat some rations. Go ahead and collect the Duke Collector stuff. And work more on the base. All right, on the start of day, on the start of day, God damn, I can't talk. On the start of day 17, I made it over to the trader to grab another quest. Let's see, let's go ahead and drink this and then start selling. Uh, I'll take some of these books. I can now make cloth and scrap quality three clothes. Okay, that ain't bad. Oh, okay, quality four. Let's go ahead and take out these zombies real quick. Nice. Oh, crap. There's a bunch of boars down here. We're going to be eating good for months, boys. 
Well, anyway, you know the deal. Loot. Kill. Reset the POI. You know how it works. We're going to be at this one for a while. You'll see why when we get farther in. No. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, I knew that was coming. Rocket launcher parts. Nice. Pipe baton quality four. Hello? There you are. I'm just going to sit right up here while I make you eat bullets. Don't let the skipping of the video fool you guys. That took a lot of ammo. But it gives me a hundred pieces of meat. So you know what that means. Back home, set some stuff up. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and fill out the base some more. Call me crazy, but I went back to the POI at night. Oh, more skill points. Let's go ahead and put in fortitude. And it is now daytime of day 18. All right. Well, you know how it is. Go back through the house, loot it, and then... Hello? I know you've respawned. I have some bombs. I'm really nervous that it's gonna like blow up this hole. Have another one. Really don't even know if these are doing a lot of damage or not. I just want to get rid of them. All right, bullet time. I mean, look at it. Look at it eat bullets. Or you could say I'm missing. Well, it's dead now. It doesn't matter. Alright, main loot. Can make bellows now. That's nice. Sawed off shotgun mod. You can do yucca juice smoothies and beer. For jumping on my bike. And heading on home. Well, probably to the trader, actually. I'm just gonna leave that deer. Nice. Alright, tier 3 fetch. Retrieve the supplies. I'm gonna go home and return. Well, not go home and drop this shit off. Grilled meat. Alright, next quest. Another skill point. I just heard something break. I don't know where it came from. Let's go ahead and put it in a brawler. Our knuckles are gonna become insanely dangerous. All right, let's actually clear it out of the for the quest. All right, calm down, buddy. You're dead already. Stupid bird. I can't see anything. It's so dark up here. Yeah, here we go. God, the zombies are everywhere, man. God, this place is massive, dude. How big is this POI? Alright, let's go ahead and use the door to our advantage here. Um, okay, let's just try to get him through the hole. Oh, man, they're really up on this door. I'm not really getting through. Well, I'm getting some hits through. They just get a little bit closer. Aw, oh, he just doomed himself. Aw, oh, he's using his body to block the door. There we go. Alright, main loot. Uh, tools digest. I can now make iron tools. That's pretty nice. That will help. I already have some good ones, but in case I need to make them. 
Uh, the repair kits are nice. Reinforced chest. I'll go ahead and try to pick the locks on it. That one didn't work. Nope. Try it again. Nope. I got one more. Alright, I got lucky. Eh, not bad. Was this another 8 times scope, I think? 9 mil. Eh, better padded chest. Is that 8 times? Yeah, it's another 8 times. Eh, more books. Nothing really crazy. Oh, I can now make iron quack no, iron quack iron knuckles. All right, we're made it to the morning of day 19 on our way home. Let's go ahead and eat some grilled meat to bring my hunger down. Some chicken soup. Nom, nom, nom. And we'll go ahead and put some of this stuff away that I don't need. Um, I don't think I got the right mining helmet. Ooh, turning in the quest. Ooh, Ratchet is a really good tool to dismember, dismember shit. I think it's better than a wrench by a long shot, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Accept the next quest. Oh yeah, this works so much better. It takes up a lot of stamina though, unfortunately, so I'll drink some water. Alright, next POI. Was that say Pop's Pawn? Let's go ahead and, you know the drill. Clear out the area, get the main loot, and say it with me. Reset the quest marker and do it all over again. That's right. That glass was loud, holy crap. Ooh, red tea. Yeah, I'll go ahead and drink that. Why not? And I'll eat some too. I hear zombies around me. They're breaking shit. Mega crush. Oh, crap. Okay, he's dead. Good. Take that. Why not? Improved fitting mod schematic? Eh, it's okay. Fucking snake. Snake bit me. Oh, well, now you're gonna be dinner. Some chicken soup. Let's go ahead and open that. And we can loot the main stash. We got our skill point to spend. Or tactical warfare. I can make a wooden club quality three. Wow, I'm still in the fucking stone ages for clubs. I can make an AK quality four. We're getting up there. And clothing, so cloth and scrap. Oh, honey, I'll take that. Cast. Uh, do I have enough padlocks for the, or uh, lock picks? I don't remember how many lock picks I have. Uh, nope. Well, I'm gonna break it. Well, that took a while, but... Well, more lockpicks. Amazing. And a treasure map? Good. Let's go ahead and open this. Maybe... Well, thank God I only took one. And, well... It's not that great compared to the last one, so... Oh, well. What are you gonna do? Well, that did not work. Oh well, we'll restart it. Oh yeah, did you forget that we had to still restart the quest? We just, all we did was loot it the first time. So let's go home and drop all this stuff off before we have to go back and restart the quest. I'm gonna go ahead and get the makings together to make an advanced bellows. Before we head back. Get the duct tape. And I just want to say guys, while I'm waiting on this stuff to kind of work its way out um if you like what you're seeing make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button it really does help the channel and uh go ahead and drop a comment i, I really appreciate it 
let me know if you guys want to see more of these kinds of videos or if you want to see more seven days videos it helps me figure out exactly what you guys are kind of in the mood to see um but other than that if you made it this far you guys are awesome and uh, i appreciate each and every one of you so uh hope you enjoy the rest of the video Go ahead and make some more lock picks for finally making the bellows. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some meat. Satisfy my hunger. All right, got the bellows done. That will speed things up in the forge. And I'm gonna make my way back to the POI while it's dark. Here we are. We're gonna be doing it at nighttime too, so it's gonna be much more dangerous. Because I can't see anything. There's a zombie around here somewhere. Trying to see if I can sneak up on it. Nope, it's hiding behind it. We'll just have to wake it up. There we go. Kill that snake without it biting me this time. Go ahead and clear out the rest of the zombies. And I hear a dog and another snake somewhere. Alright, let's try to clear out the rest of these zombies. And then we'll come back and loot all this stuff. Alright, man. Can you not phase through the door to hit me on the other side? Bitch. Uh, padded gloves. I don't know if these are better. I'll take them. Another scope. Man, I'm getting so many of these scopes. And then I broke a couple lockpicks, but managed to get it open. Uh, I mean, could be worse. It's not particularly good. The leather gloves are better. So that's a win, I guess. All right, let's open up these boxes and see what we got. I hear stuff gathering outside. Some more headlights. I can make a stone sledgehammer. I don't really plan on making a stone sledgehammer, but I can. Ooh, automatic weapon book. All right. How's this safe? Eh, it's okay. Grab the stuff to finish the quest. Eh. Oh, I can make an anvil now. I already got one, but not bad. And no. Uh, oh, I think I would have broke my uh, leg if I missed that jump. Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and turn in the quest. And then I got... He's got some nice stuff to pick from. I think I'm just going to go... Uh, I think I went with the books again before accepting another tier 3 quest, this time to fetch a thing from a POI. I'm going to go ahead and read these. Got Furious Fist. Those are nice. And then Tactical Warfare again. And some Armored Up. Okay. It all helps. And then I went to the base to put some more stuff away. I'm going to go ahead and eat this pasta... And then probably some more of this grilled meat. I want to make sure I'm not close to hungry. Grab some of the water. Let's see. I need to make some leather stuff. Let's go ahead and get the materials for that. Some glue to make duct tape, some leather, and then some sewing kits. And I should have enough to make a full set of it. And this will be better than what I have on currently. Alright, all done. I'm gonna go ahead and put all that stuff on. Got some zombies trying to mess my stuff up. See if I can kill them before they start breaking all my wood spikes. And then more showed up. Jesus, I thought it was only the couple, but I guess there was a whole horde coming. Okay, these iron knuckles are great. Along with the passive bonuses, I have... Ooh, a loot bag. 
I just donkey punched the shot of that zombie. That one just died too. Alright, what do you got on you? Oh, some ammo and steroids. That'll help. Let's go ahead and switch over all my modifications under the leather armor. Starting to look spiffy now. Okay, let's see. Go ahead and make the armor pocket mod for more storage space before hopping onto the bike. And heading towards the uh, fetch quest. We got... Oh. That really hurt the bike. Well, at least I got dinner. Alright, and the POI is right next to the other one that we just did. The bear's den. Try to clear it out real quick and then you might also see that I didn't bother searching at this point in the game I don't think it's necessary to loot the POI before uh, accepting the quest so from now on most likely I'm just gonna be accepting the quest and then clearing it out go ahead and loot this bird nest I'll take all that try to kill out these zombies I've got our skill point. Let's go ahead and take care of the zombie and then, then I'll put it into cardio so I can get even more stamina recovery. Oh man, no wonder it's called the bear's den. There's two live zombie bears. Oh, I don't know why I said live, but zombie bears. So let's try to kill them while they're still in the cage. I think I got one of them. There's one more though, I'm pretty sure. Let's try to kill these zombies. I don't see the other one. Oh, there's the other one. Let's see if I can kill him before he breaks his cage. He's no oh man. He's getting close. Uh, he's oh, he got his cage broken. Can I kill him? Oh wait, nope. He's stuck. Oh, he's out of the cage. Okay, let's back up. And, okay, got him. Okay, I think he would have had to break those bars anyway before he could get to me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and eat this food and skin the zombie bears. Let's drink some water. And then I'm trying my hardest to skin this zombie bear, but I'm not getting any luck. I'll try to break the cage. There we go. Now I can loot it. I'm just making sure nothing's behind me. Don't want another bear to show up out of nowhere. Alright, now we got the main loot. Got some bullets. And oil and a book. Some food in a book. I don't need that shit. Some beer. Some coffee. Some books and a mod. I can now make a pipe baton quality five. Open this poppin' pills crate. Ooh, some steroids and another furious fist book. Good. Open this one up before we get into the the main loot chest. A handgun. I can now make a pipe pistol. Not really helpful. And then some books. I already read that one. All right, got that one unlocked. Let's see. Eh, not bad. Could be worse. Another treasure map. Let's see. Yep. Let's go ahead and accept that. And just in case I come across it. All right on my way back back at home i'm gonna go ahead and drop off all this stuff i don't need before working on the base some more Go ahead and make some forged iron. I'm going to end up needing this stuff at some point. So let's get that made to make an iron pickaxe. And then just looking at what some stuff I need to make a gas can. Let's go ahead and make more forged iron. Grab some of the stuff that I want to sell before hopping on the bike. In day 21, I want to get some last minute things done before the arrival of the horde. Near the end of the day, I'm going to go ahead and wait for the traders to open. 
And let's go ahead and drink this for better bartering so we can sell uh, some stuff for a better value. All this junk. Go ahead and accept that iron shovel. That'll be more helpful. And let's actually do a night quest. I think that'll be fun. We'll do it after the horde night. Let's go ahead and grab some books while we're here. Let's go ahead and use them. And now I'm on my way to this marker that I put. Something I want to double check. Yeah, let's get some gum powder and some duct tape. And some ammo. We're probably going to need more for the horde. And then I'm going to make my way back. Let's see if Jen's got some of the stuff I need. Eh, she's got more books. I didn't really... Didn't miss anything by... Not coming here. Let's go ahead and put that red dot sight on the AK. Might be better than the two times scope. I don't really need that much zoom. And I'll make iron knuckles quality four. That's good. And we're getting ready for Horde Night now. I just want to put this stuff up. And uh, let's hope this all goes well. I'm going to go ahead and get ready with the Molotov. And hope I don't light myself on fire again. Let's move some of the stuff I don't need. All right, and easily managed to survive the horde night. Go ahead and kill that zombie and come back and loot all these bags. All that's done, make some grilled meat, work on the base some more. Just want to repair all the stuff that was, excuse me, that was destroyed during that horde night. Let's go put a point into Machine Gunner and Iron Gut for taking out some of these wandering zombies here for the XP. God, she takes a lot of hits. Go ahead and collect our water for hopping on our bike and making our way over here to grab some more stone and some more clay. Uh, we're going to probably need a lot of this, so... Let's go ahead and dig. There it is. Let's go ahead and grab all that stuff. Ooh, silver. That'll sell for a lot. And some other various types of ammo. And let's make our way towards our next POI. Uh, got some zombies. Oh, that's right. I can only do it at night. Well, I guess I'll come in and loot it. All right. It's about to be nighttime. Now we can actually do the quest. Got a skill point. Level 30. Heck yeah. Another milestone. Let's go ahead and put it into lightning hands. Even faster fist throwing. And let's go ahead and clear out the zombies. And it's at night, so there's going to be a lot of sprinters. We'll have to make sure we don't get caught off guard. I can now make Iron Knuckles Quality 5. Oh, man, we're going. And we got our first level of Steel Knuckles. That is going to be our last tier of Knuckles that we can make um, until we get, of course, maxed out. 
and then we'll have the highest quality of knuckles that we can have which i think is a level six steel knuckles Let's go ahead and take out some of these zombies on the roof and then we should by the time we're done we'll be on to day 23 or the morning of day 23. Okay, the zombie did not want me to restart the generator. Okay, he's dead now. And then on the start of day 23, we're going to go ahead and finish this POI. And I just want to say at this point in the video, we should probably speed it up a little bit. We're on day 23 and we're an hour and a half into the video. I don't want you guys to be here all day. And I also don't want to spend all day editing this video. So you're going to see some of the days sped up a little bit faster than we were at the beginning because i don't want this video at the rate we're going um a half an hour wait an hour and a half per 23 days that's gonna be like almost six seven hour video so you're gonna see the day speed up a little bit go ahead and grab the rest of this main loot we've been here for a while some books i already read Ooh, a triple pocket mod. That's very nice. Another treasure chest and some other miscellaneous materials. Let's go ahead and hop on our bike and make our way back to the trader to turn it in. Ooh, he's got level four steel knuckles. Holy moly, what a find. Let's go ahead and grab those. That's insane that we managed to get our hands on those. Um, we're definitely going to use those before grabbing another quest. And let's sell some of the junk stuff we don't need. I don't really care about the shotguns. Now, I just want to say while I'm putting stuff away and getting other stuff done, that the Steel Knuckles uh, are in a massive game changer for the playthrough at this point, or the challenge, as you say. Um, the All the healing factors that we have from killing zombies with our fists, along with getting increased damage from consecutive hits, and the fact that... We are at almost the top quality of steel knuckles at this point. Um, we're going to be a force to be reckoned with. I'll say that for uh, for certain in, com in combination with the rest of the stuff that we have. So at this point, I think we have our melee oriented uh, weapons completely satisfied. I don't think we're going to need anything more. Wow, this room is super dark and there's a lot of zombies in here. Let's see if I can filter them. Oh, we got some irradiated zombies. Now, a little bit of info on the irradiated zombies is they will slowly heal over time. They hit harder. Um, if you do not damage them, they will slowly regenerate health. So it is imperative to kill them as fast as possible. And there's also some attachments or some mods you can get for the um, weapons to get rid of some of their uh, healing factors. So let's go ahead and clear out the rest of this POI before grabbing the main loot. Uh, nothing too crazy. Iron Spear is kind of cool, but it doesn't really fit my build. Let's go ahead and turn it in. I'm going to go ahead and grab that barb rolling for another insane perk. Uh, let's go ahead and put a point into pain tolerance and sell the rest of the stuff that we don't need before hopping on the bike and making our way to our next destination, which is the house. I want to drop some stuff off and also make sure I'm good on food. And we'll head back out towards the next POI where we have to clear out the infested area. Well, easy, easy does it. We don't really need to loot the whole thing. Ooh, a steel sledgehammer. I think that was, it was either steel or iron, but either way, awesome. We're gonna go ahead and take apart these cars for the materials before going in and clearing out the infected very easy these still steel knuckles make it very very easy to get the zombies on the ground even if it doesn't kill them right away uh, it almost is guaranteed to knock them down and then we can finish them off while they're there see just look at him fly he didn't even die he just fell over now he's dead try to get some stealth oh that's a zombie cop and we definitely want to make sure we get a good amount of time to hit him because it will not be good if I'm going to try to put one of these trap doors to lock him up and I put it the wrong way well that doesn't help anybody oh and he's mad too let's kill him we gotta make sure he kill okay good if he blows up it oh oh no it's an irradiated oh no this could be bad oh no oh crap okay that didn't oh he just followed us 
Oh my god. Okay, he's not dead yet. Can I finish him off? Oh my god, he's not dying. Holy man, do they hit hard. Oh, I made it to the roof. It's almost the day, the morning of day 24. Oh, here come all the zombies. I ain't got birds. Oh, we got more irradiated. Oh, we got plenty of irradiated zombies. We need to go. Oh, man, this could be bad. Okay, I have this set up. Oh, he hit me. Oh, no, not the irradiated biker. Oh, no. This could be really bad. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Where did you come from? Oh, this could be. We might die here, guys. We might die here. Oh, no, I'm fatigued. Oh my god, I'm at 40 HP. He missed. Oh crap. This could be it, guys. Oh no. Oh crap, he's in. Oh my god, I'm at 23 HP. Okay. He can't make this jump. Okay, I'm gonna go up. Oh my god, where's my heels? Oh no. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. It'll mess up his pathing. He'll find another way around. It'll give us time to heal. Or, let's see. Do I not have any bandages? Am I blind? There they are. Okay, put those on. We could have easily have bit the bullet and be the challenge would have been over. We would have had to restart. But thankfully, my fast thinking managed to come out on top. And that's how we start the morning of day 24. That was insane. That would have been the end to our challenge right there if we died. That is, oh, that is insane. Watching it from um, the editing room, it's it's honestly insane that uh, we came that close to just having to <laughs> end it all. And honestly, I don't even know if you guys would have saw the video at that point if I were to die. I mean maybe i think i had the mindset that if i did die i would have restarted the challenge anyway but on that topic we're still trying to make it through this poi uh it's been taking forever this will give you guys a taste of some of the challenges that we're going to have to come up uh, come across now with um and these are just what a tier three tier four I made it back to the trader. Let's go ahead and turn in the quest. I should get... Oh, well. Oh, steel pickaxe is nice, actually. Um, it's way better than my iron. I'll go ahead and... Oh, I can't take it. i am got too much stuff. Let's go ahead and sell some stuff, and then we'll grab it. All right, let's go ahead and grab that steel pickaxe. And we finish the bundle. Ooh, motorcycle parts bundle. It won't give us everything we need for the motorcycle, but it will give us a couple of things we need for it. So I think it's worth taking at that point, just in, cra uh, just in, case, just in case I come across uh, some more of the stuff. I got the handlebars. I will need the chassis still. And we got our next trade route. Uh, let's go ahead and put some stuff away at the, at the base and make our way towards the next trader uh which is in the desert not that great um but i'm pretty sure this is uh trader bob who is more likely to have oh he's got a crucible it's very expensive but we're gonna buy it. it's gonna help speed up a lot of the things we do in the forge but trader bob is most likely going to have the stuff needed to make um the motorcycle so or we can only hope so let's go ahead and put some stuff away here. And we got our tactical assault rifle. We're so close to having our best assault rifle, but this is a good start.
right, morning of day 25. Let's go ahead and hop on the bicycle. And I think we're going to make our way back to Trader Bob. Um, see, I don't think I saw any motorcycle parts, but uh, I'm just going to dump. Yeah, he doesn't have any. Damn it. Well, nothing we can do about it right now. Maybe he'll come up with another motorcycle part. Or um, if not, we can always try to hope that he gives us. Unfortunately, I just broke my bike, so and I don't have any repair kits, so oh, that sucks. I guess we're legging it. I'll see you guys at home. Alright, made it back home. That was really inconvenient. I need to make sure I bring some repair kits. Let's go ahead and grab these leather clothes that I made. They're much better. We'll go ahead and throw those on after I change out the mods to our correct armor. Okay, that's done. And I made a cement mixer so we can start. Well, I would say make cement, but I would hope that you guys already understand that is why we have a cement mixer. So... I trust your guys' intelligence on this part. Let's go ahead and fix the bike that's somehow smoking. Uh, I don't remember putting anything that would make it smoke. Alright, got some uh, concrete mix. Need to try out our new crucible. By making some more cement. Friend, I'm in God bless you. All right, got our next POI, and we got a ton of zombies around. But I get to try out this tank assault rifle, and it's—I'll say—it's pretty nice. The red dot sight's really weird. It's right on top of the iron sight, so I'm not entirely sure why you would rock a uh, red dot sight, to be honest. Kill that lumberjack. And another one. We'll just go ahead and end his life, too. Let's go ahead and open. Oh, man, this is, this is going to be a hard POI. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it's like five and a half of difficulty level, so it's definitely going to be a bit of a challenge. We have to definitely watch ourselves. Some more bar brawling. I think we're pretty close to getting all the bar brawling books, which will also give us a unique passive bonus. Now I'm going to go ahead and drink the beer. It's going to help me do more damage because um, these guys are not to be trifled with. I'm not exactly sure what to call those zombies. They're like evolved, kind of. They're like faster. They hit harder. Um, they don't take as much damage as a fat guy does or a fat zombie does, but still... Um, dangerous, if not taken care of right away. Some lab equipment for getting our main loot. There's a bunch of different stuff here. Tons of ammo. I can now make iron tools. Quality 2, not bad. Oh, we got a lot of military zombies. Good thing I got my attack assault rifle. They don't really mind eating a couple bullets. There we go. All right, area is clear. We just got to find uh, the supplies, which is right there. I'll go ahead and take it. And on the morning of day 26, I'm going to go ahead and make my way uh, to the trader. Well, I guess I forgot some stuff at home. I'm going to go ahead and fix this stuff up first. Now I'm going to head to the trader. I'm going to go ahead and turn in the quest. Ooh, military. There's a lot of good stuff here. I think I'm going to go with the steel axe, though. It'll make harvesting wood so quick. Uh... Yep, I went with the steel axe. Let's go ahead and grab a nighttime job. I want to show you guys just how crazy it can get. The pleasure was all mine. I have it. No matter what, I'm grateful for it. And, uh, you got anything cool? Nope. I don't think he had anything cool, so. Go ahead and move on home to try out the steel shovel. I think this is steel. This might, no, this is still my iron shovel. This is my steel pickaxe, though, and it works just nicely. Go ahead and make more stuff for cement, eat some meat. And let's go ahead and... Oh, crap. Well, got out of that hole. Let's go ahead and get some wood so I can cover that hole before 
finally heading over to this remember this we found this early in the video and well that completely sucks now i gotta traverse this poi with a broken leg and i was too late to start the quest so i'm just gonna use these steroids and run on home because i got nothing else we can do i'm gonna have to come back here tomorrow let's go ahead and plaster cast that well, start of day 27, I work on upgrading the base a little bit because now we have to wait until the night time to actually do that POI. So I'll just try to do some things around the base, make some more iron, make some forged steel, put a new set of wood, uh, wood spikes around, upgrade these stairs. Might as well turn some of these into steel spikes. And then getting closer to the time. Let's go to the trader real quick, sell some stuff, grab some more books. Doesn't have too much that I'm interested in. The Lucky Looter is nice, I'll go ahead and grab that. And now it's nighttime. Now we can actually start the POI. I'm gonna be more careful not to break my leg this time. Let's go ahead and go through. Got some, I got a cop. Damn, I just one shot that cop zombie. Oh great, amazing, I'm infected. Well, made it to the generator anyway. We can just fix that infection when I get home. All right, finish that POI. On the start of day 28, we need to make sure we make our way back home to prepare for the Horde night. Remember how I said the video, the days are gonna be starting to go by faster. Keep that in mind, because it's about to speed up a lot. We're gonna be going through these days pretty fast now, because you guys are pretty used to what I did on each day, but I will stop and um, let you guys know on anything crazy that does happen, um, like a big milestone, a big weapon, or a big, uh, like tool or anything like that vehicles especially i want to make sure you guys see uh when we finally get our hands on those let's go ahead and go home and i made some ap 762 ammo before getting all the stuff together the horn knight is going to start pretty soon i think we're ready for it though so i'm going to go ahead and let the horn knight play out and uh we should be fine on this day 28 horde i don't foresee any challenges or anything like that um but you never know things could go wrong so make sure i would prepare for the best and uh let's go ahead and wait for the horde to show up Oh no, I think I just heard something break my- Oh no! They destroyed my do collector! <laughs> I actually don't even remember if I re like figured that out when I was like in the middle of this horde night. I don't think I realized it until later. I had so much water that I think I get to a point where I'm like, where's my do collector? And I didn't even- I totally forgot that it was like right there. And uh, the police zombie totally ruined that, so... We're going to have to make sure eventually I'll, I'll realize that and we'll get that fixed. Next. Well, I guess we can stop here and loot it real quick. 
I uh, got iron tools, quality five. Got some herbal antibiotics recipe. Can now make a robotic sledge. And then I used some time to make a little small bridge to get across this gap because it was being annoying um, for a while. So I'll just make a little path before making it over to Ranger Station Alpha for um, our next POI. And there's a crap ton of radiated zombies already. Thank God these steel knuckles are so good at pushing them back. Um, we're going to back up a little bit. I'm pretty sure there's mines around here, so I really don't want to step on them if I can help it. Um, at this point, it still might just kill me. So, <laughs> oh, excuse me. Still gassy. Got some points to put in. I got five. I must have forgotten about them at some point. I put one into plunder, some junk, uh, lucky looter. Damn it, I got hiccups now. And a point into fortitude before I took uh, this car apart. And now I can make steel knuckles quality two. I can now make a mini bike, which is pretty nice. On the morning of day 30, I'm still trying to clear out the ranger station. Uh, I'm trying to make my way up this tower now. It reminds me of Dying Light. If you guys ever want to see me play that, let me know. I actually do enjoy Dying Light. Okay, we got some irradiated bikers. I definitely don't want to get caught. This is very precarious. I could easily fall to my death here and it would be completely over. And I'm being messed up, but you can see my health regenerating as I'm getting these kills. It's it's actually insane. Like, and there's another point. It's honestly really hard for me to take a bunch of damage right now. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, let's see. Well, I'm infected now. That sucks, but we're going to go ahead and put a point into intellect before making our way back home and depositing all the stuff that we got. And then making our way to the trader to sell some stuff. Ooh, a military vest. That's really nice. We'll go ahead and grab that. And let's see. Let's go ahead and do a night. Uh, another night one. Um, before going to Trader Bob. And he's got a mini bike chassis. So now we can actually make a mini bike. Um, but we are at our next location. This one is going to take a lot of time. I can feel it already. Um, yeah, it's going to take a bit to finish this one. Maybe a day or two of just being here. Uh, let's try to snipe this zombie. Got him. All right, here we go. Uh, I will say that while I was in this building, the um, the graphical textures were, I guess, too much for my system to handle. So I had to turn down all of the uh, specs um, or the, the, the quality presets because it was so laggy here. And my poor little AMD... Radeon 5700 XT couldn't handle uh, the insane graphical textures that the, that is seven days to die. Um, you could hear my fans churning if this was alive, but uh, we ended up making our way to the top and there's zombies somewhere. Oh, here they come. They're like walking up the ladder. Wow, that dude jumped far. Oh, he's dead now. Got some runners and... That one's going to be shot at. We got some military zombies, but they're pretty far away. I'm just going to light them up. Hope I got to reload. Let's go ahead and do some steel knuckles. Got another point. Hell yeah. I will say that traversing this POI was kind of confusing because it was had a lot of like jumps you had to make and then some like upside down portions of it, but you guys don't care about that. I'm going to restart the generators, and I think I just heard more zombies spawn. Oh, crap, yeah. This could be bad. Okay, well. As you can see, my armor is pretty good at this point in the game, um, along with my combination of healing, or passive healing from being able to beat up zombies with my fists. I did get an abrasion, but I can just fix that with a first aid kit. Nice. All right. That's the last generator. Now there's a zombie somewhere in this building that I ended up, end up having to kill. I did find him. I'm going to use some parkour skills to, to skill this building. Otherwise, it would take me forever. It should be good. There we go. Awesome. Let's go ahead and make our way back. I'm going to go ahead and put a point in a grease monkey. So we can... I think it's grease monkey. It might have been grease mechanic or whatever. I didn't see. Let's go ahead and accept another tier 4. Restore power. Got some crafting skill books, more furious fists, some handgun magazines, and some tech ones. Ooh, I'm gonna make a bunch of grilled meat. I got a bunch. And now I have all the materials to make a mini bike. Our next tier of vehicle 
which will make it easy uh, make it even easier to get around i'll make some mods for it and uh get that zombie out of the way i want to put my bike down safely there it is what a beauty very nice start of day 32 i'm gonna go ahead and make my way down the road Dismantle this car. This one too, and this one. For killing that bear. And getting some meat off it. And we made it to our next POI. I think this is the crack a book. So, you get a lot of different books here. I can see why this place would be a high tier. Got a lot of irradiated zombies here. Now make dynamite. Not really helpful. Getting a lot of stuff unlocked now. Can make steel knuckles quality three. Can make a wrench quality four. Some food. Can make a tier one aloe. Amazing. More zombies trying to mess me up. I'm gonna go ahead and close the door. Make sure I got my retreat covered. Got some irradiated zombies. Oh, there's a radiated cop. I'm probably going to have to back up now. Let's go ahead and wait before we use this door. Okay, here comes the cop. Going to hit him a couple times, close the door. You know what? I think I'm going to let him explode. Let's see. Nope. Oh, well, they got through real quick. Oh, I'm okay. I think I hit him enough. Nope, I did not hit him enough times. Oh, my God. They're all coming around. They're trying to, to flank me. Uh, zombie cop's not exploding yet. He's about to, though. I think I might be able to kill him before he... Yep, okay, he's dead now. He won't explode. Some lumberjack. Ooh, a nice loot bag from that lumberjack. Very nice. What do you got? A eh, bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Got some zombies having a hard time climbing up and down this ladder. I'll just use that to my advantage here. Put a point into intellect before getting some loot. You can now make chili dog. Nice. And got a bunch of ammo from this infested crate. And nothing really too good out of here. Let's go ahead and put some of the stuff in our mini bike before making our way. Well, crap. And I fell in a pit, but I'm back at the trader. A steel club and not really necessary. I don't really, I guess the steel boots are nice. Uh, I think I'll just take the forged steel. Go ahead and accept the next quest. Their infestation. Go ahead and grab the stuff out of the mini bike, and then I'll put it all away in this chest or in these chests. Before heading to, I think we're gonna go next POI. Uh, there was an airdrop on the way there, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop and grab that. Uh, looks like a well, there's a couple different things, food and weapon parts I like that I'll go ahead and take all this stuff that's pipe machine this is kind of an old one probably I don't really need this stuff all right it's all the way up there our next thing so uh, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and spend some time making a platform up I might be able to use it later to actually just traverse this mountain so spend some time making it now I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail, and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter what the weather, we're together.
Well, I finished making it. I'm not sure if it's going to come in handy at some point, but I figured might as well take the time to make it now. Uh, just in case it did benefit me. Granted, it literally led to water, so I guess I'll YOLO it. Well, that worked out pretty well, as long as I get out of the water. All right. Well, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to make our way back that way, but uh, that's a problem for future me. Already got the satchel, nice. And then uh, we got some fat boy runners. Gotta make sure they don't trap us. The steel knuckles are insane now. I mean, when I actually hit him in the head. Inside the shooting range, it looks like there's a. Oh, here they come. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. Oh yeah, they're all upset. We're gonna just use that door and close that door too. And then I'm just gonna wait right here for them. I'm gonna go ahead and place a hatch down. Oh, they already got through that door fast. I'm gonna put that up. Granted, they're probably gonna get through this fast too, but I'm gonna get some early hits. Okay, of course the biker is reaching through to hit me. Amazing. And of course Fat Boy is blocking it. And yeah, that didn't last long. I'm just gonna run now. And then we come back in. They seem to have split off a little bit, so I'm going to use that to my advantage to get or uh, pick them off. Whoa. Thought they were going to come in. Oh, loot bag is nice. Go ahead and finish off the fat guy on walking lumberjack. We'll just go ahead and take care of him. This door is probably going to break. I'm trying to get all of them before it does break. Okay, a little crawly zombie got me. There we go. Took care of that. Beat up the rest of these lumberjacks. And then, uh, not bad. Military fiber and other stuff. Got to the main loot. I'm going to go ahead and try to lock pick it open now. Oh, that's not bad. Can now make iron tools quality five. Before returning to a, I think this is Trader Hugh. Yep, Trader Hugh. And just selling some of this stuff. Going in and reading this book that I got off him. Now I can make a chemistry station. Then I'm going to go ahead and head on back to the trader. Um, trader Joel to sell some stuff and turn in the quest, which he had a tier 5 tack assault rifle. I'm going to go ahead and grab that because it's better than what I got right now. Then I'm going to go ahead and restore power. And then drop off some of the loot that we don't need anymore before heading out at night to the next POI. Fort Bags. I think it's four bags. It looks like four bags. And the zombies are just getting annihilated by the landmines they have set up around here. Well, he survived. I'm just going to go ahead and finish him off. I'm going to go ahead and activate the POI. It's going to respawn the zombies. I'm going to try to pick some off from distance here. They're running and they're going to step on the landmines still. I'm going to use the landmines to the advantage. Landmines to my advantage. I can't talk. And then I'm going to go ahead and restart the generator. There's still zombies around somewhere. I'm going to go ahead and restart this. Didn't work. I don't hear any zombies. Oh, I see one. There we go. Oh, I see more now. Mr. Lumberjack. And there we go. It's restarted now. Just in time for the morning of day 34. Going through the days pretty quickly now. Still got some zombies that's not... Oh, there they are. I'm just going to let them come down. 
Turns out this has an entire underground section that I need to clear out. No wonder the quest didn't end. I'm gonna go ahead and make use of these steel knuckles to get some health back and to rack up the damage and get some stuns, get some knockovers. If you guys are looking for a really good melee weapon to kind of go through the game with, I mean, these these steel knuckles are pretty nice in combination with leveling up unarmed skills and passives. Oof. The health regen is nice, and the stack 15% damage is also insane. Oh, just, just shredding them. I'm going to go ahead and put a point into better barter. And then let's go ahead and look. Yep, I got almost max on the steel knuckles. Let's go ahead and grab some of the medical supplies that are here. I can now make recog before heading out and putting stuff away into my vehicle storage. And then finishing off one zombie that was just chilling. And I stopped to get a treasure chest. So we got more ammo and all that for turning it in. And there we go. We got another tier completed and he's offering a four by four bundle. But the last time I took the motorcycle, I didn't get any parts for it. So I think I'm gonna, I think I risk it here. Oh, I'm going to take the military armor bundle, I think. Yep, I'd end up taking that. And I put on all the military gear. Nice and awesome, like, before heading to the next POI on the night of day 24. And then I forgot something at home. I needed to return home. Our next horde night, where I did do some looting and I did some quests for this trader to try to get better vehicle parts, but it didn't really work out that well. But I'm going to go home and prepare for the horde night. And we're getting ready now. Got the chemistry to, uh, chemistry station down. And now the horde night is starting. And we were easily able to survive the day 35 horde. Honestly, the construction of the base in tandem with the skills and the passives that we have, excuse me, are honestly making us so powerful that it's starting not to become a challenge. Um, it is pretty crazy to say since we're only on day 36, but currently I don't have uh, any risk to my life that I need to worry about. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and 
Let's see. I think we need to make another Duke Collector. I think this is around the time that I finally realized that I need to remake one. Um, you know, now he's got a mini bike chassis. Too bad it's already made. I'm going to go ahead and grab these water filters so I can make more Duke Collectors before going to the next POI quest and finishing that up and then turning it in. Because I'm really trying to just get uh, motorcycle parts or 4x4 parts or something. I'm just trying to get the next vehicle. So I figured leveling them up might be a good thing to do to try to get those up. Day 37 now. We're on the next POI of the quest for the trader. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure. Same thing. We're just going to clear it out and gonna return the quest. Uh, oh, he has a motorcycle chassis now. That means he can finally make the motorcycle. So I'm going to grab that and I'm going to grab the nail gun. It's a little bit better. And then I'm going to place these dew collectors down so I can finally get water again. And then here is our mini bike. Sick. More storage. It's faster. Look at all that storage. It's amazing. I'm going to go ahead and put all these mods on it. And then I'm going to spend some time fixing up the base on the morning of day 38. Before heading to Trader Wrecked, which is our new trader. To see if he has anything cool. I don't remember what he specializes in, but I want to make sure I get that tier. Grab this airdrop that was out here. I can now make an M60 machine gun. That is massive. But we are going into probably one of the hardest POIs we're going to ever do. Um, again, the amount of lag in this building is insane. Um, I had to turn down so much like graphical settings to be able to actually do it. But you might see this POI actually took a couple days to do um, a lot of dangerous pitfalls, a lot of things that could have ended my life. Like look at all these zombies just piling. But thankfully they're all getting stuck so I can just take them out with my steel knuckles. Got another skill point. Level 44 now. It's insane. We've gone up in so many levels so quickly. So I think I decided to put it into... Grease Monkey, I think? No, I I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. I guess put it into lockpicking. And then continuing to move across the POI. I gotta get across this little gap. And I over jump. Oh my... I thought that was the end of the challenge right there. Now I got a broken leg and I don't feel like going back. I managed to find materials for a splint, so that'll help. It's about to be the morning of day 39. I'm back over here and I actually got across this time. I didn't realize I could just walk across. Morning of day 39, I'm still inside the POI trying to clear it out. So many zombies to go through. This is absolutely insane. This might take me another day to get through, honestly. Just trying to be safe because I realized that any misstep, like earlier, like if I fall, I will just, it'll be over. I finally made it to the roof though, and there's a crap ton of workers. And I really gotta make sure I don't get surrounded because I think there's like, like look at all the red on my radar. Look at all the red. Oh man, they are everywhere. I gotta try to find a spot where they're like not, but they're they're literally everywhere. Oh, they're getting me in the back already. I gotta try to figure out a way to funnel them. Can't. Oh man, I dead end myself. Oh, okay. Well, if I got caught there, I'd have been over. Oh, okay. I think I'm getting bit by a dog. I'm gonna go down the stairs. This should slow down their pathing a little bit. The dogs are gonna be. Oh, here they come. Let's go ahead and use this door to the advantage. Okay, it didn't even give me the command to, to fucking close it. So there we go. And then, of course, we got zombies that still got through. Oh, great. Now I'm bleeding. And I got a deep laceration. So I think I got time. I'm going to bandage it. It'll fix it. And now the zombies are coming through. And I almost trapped myself again. Oh, man. Okay, I definitely trapped myself now. This honestly might be over. This challenge might be over right here. <laughs> Just stay calm and get headshots. Okay, thankfully they didn't all manage to find the path down here. Slowly whittle them down. 
All right, I finally cleared him out and I got to the main loot. Look at this giant pile of loot. A level five lever action. That's insane. That's crazy. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but that's insane. I think that's the best and a compound crossbow. I think the lever action might be the second best tier of rifle, but look at all this stuff. So much stuff. I still gotta clear the rest of the zombies. I finally cleared them all. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drop some stuff off into the motorcycle and finally make my way back to the trader to see what he'll give me. He gives me a level six auger. A level six auger. What that allows me to do is mine up stone, dirt, iron, like all the resources that require me to dig. All I have to use the auger and it's insane. I'm going to work on the base a little bit, but that auger is insane. It's the last tier of tool that you can get auger and chainsaw. And now I can finally make the M60. It's going to be a lot of materials, but it's going to be worth it. But the auger is a big, big, big win. I have all the stuff to make it now. We are on the last tier of assault rifle, the M60. You guys are going to love this once it's done. Going to make a structured and here it is. I'm going to go ahead and put the mods on it. And look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, I'm going to go to the next POI on the morning of day 40. Ooh, steel club and steel knuckle level five. I'm definitely gonna put those on. Nice. Go ahead and clear out the rest of this POI and get to try out this M60. Oh man, it's, oh, so nice. Granted, I'm not hitting my shots, but still so nice. Oh, and I fell for a trap and there's a bunch of zombies I'm just gonna spray. Oh, well. I don't really need to spray. I thought they would be charging me faster, but I can just take my time and pick them off one by one with a headshot. Uh, nice and easy. Some more zombies. Oh, there they are. Uh, I figured uh, they wouldn't be that quiet. Uh, I gotta be careful here. I'm gonna try to back up. I don't want them to push me off. Because I don't want to leave the POI, because then it'll reset. And I don't want that. Thankfully, they're broken right now so i'm just gonna take advantage okay now i make sham chowder and more zombies that can eat more of my m60 bullets oh that's a lot oh yeah let's go down okay we gotta move well maybe not okay i should be okay now he's dead I don't see any more zombies. Oh, there we go. Got more skill points. Let's go ahead and put it. I put it into. Actually, it doesn't look like I don't know what I put it into. I guess I put it into mild weather and intense weather resistant. Yeah, that sounds right. And then I turn in the quest and I get a chainsaw. The best tool in the game for cutting wood and other miscellaneous things. It's on level with the auger. On the morning of day 41, we have acquired the chainsaw. And then I think just to give you guys a demonstration on how the tools are, I'll show you the auger go into town. Like, look at how fast this thing harvests iron and stone. Insane. Go ahead and head to the next POI, little drive-in movie theater. Got zombies hiding in the bathroom stalls. Go ahead and put a point into strength. I'm not entri entirely sure what I should put it in at this point. I can now make a first aid kit. Go ahead and open up the main loot. Hunting rifle, a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff, some silver. Hmm. Not too bad. I mean, I can put that on the hunting rifle. It'll sell for more. Grab the rest. Eh. 
I have a full inventory. I gotta figure out what I want to grab. Some more miscellaneous stuff. Got some steel quality level two for tools. Not really helpful at this point. Now I'm gonna head home on the night of day 41. And then collect more materials, more iron. All right, made it home. Go ahead and grab all the loot out of the bike. Put it away. You know how it goes at this point. Put all that stuff away in the cell. Then I think, let's see. Make some more wood spikes. Day 42, I'm going to go ahead and collect the stuff I don't need to sell to the trader. And start selling. And then, ooh, a robotic drone. I think it, steel armor, nah, the robotic drone. A buddy to have with me at all times. Amazing, let's check it out. So cool. Power up, it, is a pleasure to serve. it can talk, <laughs> it's got inventory. Ready for duty. Oh, this thing is amazing. I would level up robotics just for that. Well, I don't got time to oogle over it. We got to prepare for the day 42 horde. Got some of the wood spikes upgraded into iron spikes. Oh, well, a bunch of iron spikes. And we're going to go ahead and do the horde night. Princess Peach, Mario, and the Toad. It's a road called Rainbow Road. It's a road we're all gonna go. We'll go. It's Rainbow Road. It's where you go when you die. It's Rainbow Road. Again. It's at this point in the video, about two hours and thirty minutes in, that. I think it's time to level with you guys. The challenge was completed by this day in the game. There was no challenge anymore after getting the M60 and getting the steel knuckles, the auger, the chainsaw. It just, it wasn't challenging anymore and it got really boring. Is it possible to get to day 100 in seven days? Absolutely. I did it in this challenge. What you're seeing right now is day 100. And just to give you guys a treat, I will show you guys me actually getting to day 100. I'll show you the, the I think it's the day 96 horde. At this point, in combination with the weapons that I've had, the, pra the passive bonuses, the base that I have, there's just no challenge left in seven days. 
and I think I've hit the wall of what Seven Days has to offer for a solo player. Will Seven Days be fun for anybody else who is doing like a PvP server? Absolutely. Will you be able to uh, have more fun playing with a friend? Absolutely. Um, I do not think that Seven Days is a game that you should play uh, for more than, I would say, 47, 50 days. I pretty much felt like there was no challenge left in the game to offer me. Uh, none of the POIs were a threat anymore. So let's go ahead and answer the question. Can you survive 100 days and 7 days to die? The answer is yes, absolutely. It's not that hard. The real question, and I'll turn it back on you guys. I'd like to get your opinion on the comments, uh, down in the comments below. Is it worth it to play 100 days and 7 days to die without dying? The answer to that question is it's absolutely not. It is not worth it to play 100 days and 7 days to die without dying. The challenge goes away very quickly and there's just nothing left that's fun to do in the game. It was a genuine slog to get to day 100 at this point. Altogether, I've recorded about 64 hours of seven days footage to get to day 100. And I think at this point in the video, I think I've shown you guys how the game has gotten. And this is basically the peak of what seven days has to offer. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the day of night or the day 96 horde. And you guys can just see what it's like. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and give my final closing thoughts after that. Okay.
Seven Days to Die. A great zombie survival game, even for a single player experience. I think it's just limited by its factors uh, in staying entertaining past day 40, uh, 40, 45. Is it even more fun to play with friends? Absolutely. Is it fun to play on a PvP server? Probably. But from my experience in this challenge, it was insanely fun till day, around day 45, and then I realized there is no challenge left. It, it's very easy for me to get to day 100, and it will be for you too. So, my closing statement for 7 days, amazing game, go out and get it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you're interested in seeing anything else, you guys have any ideas, leave them in the comments section. Make sure you leave a like on the video if it made your day. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.